Hey everyone, so um, I decided to uh, go into greater detail about the Mayhem albums. Um, this is kind of a uh, Euronymous Collection Part 2 thing. I didn't really touch on these and also um, I forgot that I had this. Um, and of course I didn't talk about this one. Um, I also decided to uh, touch on albums that he released. Def Like Silence Productions. Um, <clears throat> my doll has his guitar. Les Holler. Um, so, yeah. Um, where do I want to start? Okay. <clears throat> start with this one. Um, this is really awesome, guys. And, oh, it looks like my cat's been at it. Oh, God, I, I hate these fucking cats sometimes. Guys, I seriously do. Okay, so what is this? Um, this is um, a demo tape of, uh, what would later become Death Crush. Um, Pure Fucking Arm Again. Now, this is a bootleg, I believe, um, kind of unofficial release. But I gotta tell you, the sound quality on this is probably the best I have heard. Um, regarding Pure Fucking Arm Again. Um, even has Side Fuck and Side Off. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, that is the original cover there. Um, that, that was the original cassette tape cover. Why is Dead all over this? I don't know. Um, obviously, this came out before Dead was in the band. Uh, technically, he shouldn't really be on this cover. Um, neither should Hellhammer. Um, so, yeah, it's just kind of weird. I think it was a marketing strategy, probably. Um, I'm not really sure who release this but I was pleasantly surprised that I can actually hear Euronymous singing for once <laughs> um, because he actually did the vocals on this cassette tape originally um, and for some reason uh, the sound is actually pretty good on this um, probably better than the, uh, the box set that came out recently um, which included, I think it was four, uh, picture disc vinyl and a cassette tape, um, supposedly remastered, but, um, really not worth it because picture disc, uh, have horrible quality. The thing that I thought was really funny about this is... out. I mean, you're not supposed to handle vinyl like that, but um, just hilarious color of that. <clears throat> so yeah, I was I was really surprised. Um, I just stumbled on this when I was in Virginia one day. Um, I went to the store. <clears throat> this sold a lot of black metal. Uh, which is really hard to get in the DMV area, unfortunately. Um, more so than other parts of the country. Um, so, yeah. It was, it was interesting. Um, 
but um, it's more of a completionist type of thing. Um, you're still going to get um, that demo sound, but um, shockingly, yeah, it, the quality of it definitely beats uh, any cassette tape out there. Um, <clears throat> so, moving on to uh, Death Crush. Now, these are the band members that are supposed to be on this album cover. Um, I don't know, the glare is kind of making it hard. But you got Mannheim, Euronymous, Necro Butcher, Maniac, um, and then I think Messiah did at least one song on this. Uh, <clears throat> that was the original vocalist, was Messiah. He didn't uh, last for very long. He did the uh, concert and she. Um, and uh, it's got his... Def like Silence logo on it. Um, damn, this thing will not focus. Oh, it will not focus. <laughs> okay. I don't know why. Uh, probably because of the glare. But, yeah. Let me just read what it says on there. No fun, no core, no mosh, no trends. Yeah. Uh, what can I say about this? Well, it's a classic. Um, I was playing it in the car once when I did a um, live video. Uh, like I said in the original one, uh, uh, like I said in the other video, the original one um, had kind of a, a magenta pink cover. Um, and uh, it was um, released by uh, Poser Corpse Music. Uh, <coughs> So, um, and it also had a cow on it originally, on the vinyl, uh, Frank the Cow. So, um, and then, uh, there's a little advertisement here. Uh, Merciless, this was technically the, uh, first album, not counting Mayhem stuff, that Euronymous, uh, released. So... Yeah. And then we got another classic. Uh, you know what? Let's not get to that yet. Um, let's talk about this. Okay, this is a live album with Dad on it. Um, the sound quality is really not that great. Um, it was a bootleg originally. I'm going to show you guys something that's actually a lot better than this later on. Um, we just haven't gotten there yet. Okay, so this is the Hen House recordings. Uh, this was a rehearsal with Dad and it. Um, not much to see in the book. Let's see. There's not really a book in there. This comes with a DVD. Uh, you can find it on YouTube, the uh, rehearsal tape uh, film. This is really like one of the only instances where you're going to see Euronymous um, playing. Because honestly, the footage is atrocious. The, the live footage uh, that people have released over the years is really atrocious. You're not going to see anything. Um, from the live concerts. 
disc wise the the sound is atrocious um you really are getting it for this honestly um so it's pretty good not much to say um this took place at Nick or Butcher's, uh, I think it was his grandfather's farm. Um, and they used to rehearse at this hen house, it used to be a, a chicken house. Um, so, they said it stunk horribly too. Um, it still stunk like chickens and they had to put uh, sheets, you know, on the ceiling because there were still uh, feathers and uh, chicken shit that would literally fall on them while they were playing in there, so. So. Um, but. Yeah, it's not bad. You know, it's another completionist thing. It's not really necessary, but. Um, yeah. I will say the DVD is better looking than uh, anything you're going to find on YouTube. So. <clears throat> um, okay, and then we got the classic, uh, The Mysteries, Dom Satan Us. Um, this is the first... Um, this is an early release of uh, this album on CD. Um, it was supposed to be, uh, as I mentioned, it was supposed to be violet or purple on the cover. Um, I'm actually thinking about getting the box set of this album. But I will say this, um, I actually... The one that I was playing last time when we did video on this, um, I actually prefer this version. Um, it is missing the last song, the The Mystery Don Satan song. Um, but I highly, highly prefer this version. Um, because it is before, um, how I am addicted around it, but he was in charge of the re the the mastering and the uh, the final recordings of this, um, the remixing and everything. And what he did was he lowered the bass significantly um, because Varg was on it and. Uh, Easting's parents um, wanted the bass tracks to be removed and re-recorded, but uh, Hellhammer never did that. Instead, he reduced the bass completely, uh, and uh, he raised the drum so loud, honestly, that um, it kind of drowns out Euronymous's guitar work. Um, it's, uh, I mean, it, it's a classic. It really is. Don't get me wrong. It is a classic. But, this is how it was supposed to sound. This one. This Life Eternal. <laughs> so, I listen to this a lot. Um, you know. I just prefer it. <laughs> um, not going to lie, you know, I think it sounds superior. Now, a lot of people think it sounds like crap, but uh, yeah, it's, it's good. I, I don't understand why people would prefer this one. Uh, I mean, I know that it's a classic, but I'm telling you, this is how it's supposed to sound. So, um, but that's why I've been really reluctant uh, to get the box set because I'm like, I already have this and I already have that. But the box set has an amazing book and it's a hardcover book that's on there. So I'm just like, 
you know, and the thing is I wanted it on vinyl, um, but the only version that's available, honestly, is CD now, and vinyl is extremely expensive version of it, so, but, yeah, that's an investment, uh, the book alone is probably the, the reason why you would get it. Um, yes. And then a tribute to the Black Emperors. Um, I did touch on this a little bit. This is a bootleg. Um, it is extremely hard to get now. And it's kind of pricey, but you can, you can find it on eBay. Um, and it features the Morbid uh, demo tape that uh, they came out with with Dead on it. Um, and then these tracks, um, three of them have Dead on it. Um, and it, it has Carnage on it. Now, Carnage is an extremely hard-to-find track. Um, it's actually, it was only officially released um, on uh, projections of a stained mind. Um, I believe it was. It was like a black metal, death metal compilation that came out. So... Uh, that's that's just like an amazing bonus, honestly, right there. That's a great track. Um, like I said, you guys can check this out on YouTube. It is available on YouTube to listen to. Uh, it's it's pretty cool. It's great. Um, I highly recommend this. I, I definitely love this. Because it's so rare, I'm probably going to have to burn a copy of it. So, um, I'm not overusing it. It's great. And then, well, I'm gonna... I have no choice but to talk about asshole here. <laughs> Excuse me. The C-U-N-T. Um, as uh, he's been called a few times. Um, Death Like Silence, right there. No mosh, no core, no trend, no fun. Alright, so I think this is the second album that he released on his label after Merciless. Um, not counting the mayhem stuff. <clears throat> this is a great album. It really is. However you feel about the C-U-N-T, um, however you feel about him, I, um, <laughs> I, I mean, like it or not, Burzum really is a good band. It really is. Um, there has been a lot of controversy. It's getting harder and harder to find this, this stuff because of his right-wing politics. Because uh, people can't have freedom of speech anymore, I guess. So, But, <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, I, I always say uh, vote with your wallet instead of just trying to ban stuff. Uh, you don't have to buy it. Like, um, the reason why I have this, as strongly as I feel, um, about what he did, um, it has Euronymous's legacy on it. He actually plays on the track War on this, um, he does a pretty wicked awesome guitar solo. And he also um, <clears throat> plays a gong, I believe, on it. Uh, so, I mean, he did he did do some work on this. Um, this is a part of his legacy. 
you know, he owned this. He owns uh, these stars on albums. I mean, it <laughs> like. So, it's it's just tragic what happened. But um, I'm not going to tell you not to listen to this stuff because of what happened. Um, because it is a good album. It really is. Um, it deserves mentioning. And um, it's still his legacy. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, so. And it's got the Dungeons and Dragons cover there. That's from the Dungeons and Dragons thing. But. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's good, you know. And then this is Ashes. Uh, that's what that means. And, uh, of course, it's got a blatant depiction of a burn church. That's, uh, Varg. The C-U-N-T lit and burned himself. Um. Here's another Death Like Silence. He changed it. Yoramas had a tendency to change um, the logo frequently. It's uh, anti Anton LaVey. So that's Anton LaVey of the Church of Satan. Um, he didn't approve of the Church of Satan because he viewed it as fake Satanism. Which, I mean, let's be honest, it kind of is. Um, his argument was real Satanists actually believe in Satan and, you know. So, um, and then he released a statement here. Stop the madness. Drugs are no fun. Drugs endanger the life and happiness of millions. It must never stop. We appeal in particular to the youth of today. Don't stop the madness. There are better things in life. Deflex Silence Productions support the Never Stop the Madness campaign for the use of hard drugs. Join us. <laughs> yeah. A little black humor there. Um, so. But yeah, once again, I mean, it's part of his legacy. Um, there is a pretty uh, horrifying... story that um, I think people will find interesting about this album though. Um, I was reading online on a forum that, <clears throat> well actually it was from an interview, but it appeared on a forum as well, that uh, a member of Satyricon um, actually has uh, the copy that Euronymous had in his apartment, and um, it has some of his blood on it, because um, when he was stabbed in his apartment, um, he was standing there as vinyl, so some of the albums that he owned actually had his blood on it, and um, he ended up grabbing a copy of this with Euronymous's blood on it. Um, so, I mean, it's just, uh, it's, it, it was really sad, but, um, the other thing is, uh, Noseblood Records, um, uh, I mean, in Norwegian it says knees blood, but it's nose blood, um, in English, uh, that opened in the original, uh, Helvet, um, location that Euronymous' record store was in. Um, they actually have uh, his Kiss album, one of his Kiss albums uh, with blood on it, hanging on the wall. Um, I think it's pretty tacky and uh, it's kind of gross and sad that they have that, personally. Um, but, yeah. 
So, yeah, if you guys ever visit Norway and go to that uh, Nose Blood Records, uh, I'm sure they'll show it to you uh, if you ask them about it. But, yeah, um, it's pretty effed up, honestly, if you want my opinion. But, yeah. So, um, and speaking of his death, um, I did kind of talk about this a little bit. Um, it's a tribute CD. It does have two Mayhem songs. Both have dead on them. Uh, they're very good. Um, it's got Dissection, Emperor, uh, Mysticum, Thorns even, uh, you know, Enslaved. Uh, <clears throat> Enslaved was another band that he uh, signed to his record label. Um, Mortis, Abruptum. I mean, it's it's a great compilation. It really is. Um, I'm a big fan of Dissection, so you know that was cool that they put that in there. Um, But, yeah, I've had this for a while. And, uh... great disc. Um, if you guys like black metal uh, compilations and you're looking for just like a variety, this is a good one. It really is. So, I'm going to get into the big, big thing here. This is a box set of or life stuff with dad. Um, and let me uh, let me move him. My only complaint with this so far is I wish this was hardback. The Demystery one um, is actually hardback. But um, this, this has like all their live stuff from that era. Um, I just kind of most most of these live albums, because they were bootlegs, um, they're really not good quality. This one, um, I've heard is pretty heinous, honestly, as far as quality goes. Um, so you probably, probably want to skip some of these. Um, I haven't listened to all of them. The only ones that I have listened to is, obviously, I got that on CD. This one is definitely the one that you want. Um, this is like the best one out of all of them. That's Trippy to Dead. Um, Die Bives on here. This one is incredible. This has the best sound out of all of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, keep in mind these are bootlegs. So the, the quality varies. It's not perfect. 
None of them are perfect. Um, but yeah, but I mean, there's not a lot that I can say, honestly. try to capture this as best as I can. Um, so yeah, Euronymous said we will never release our own bootlegs. Um, obviously they changed their mind. Um, a little bit. This is the guy that um, I bought his cross from. This is the guy. He's been releasing these. Um, and his page on, um, Instagram is, I think it's called the, uh, Mayhem Collection or the Old Mayhem Collection or something. Um, but basically what happened was I started messaging him and, uh, saying, hey, you know, are you going to sell that cross that belonged to Euronymous? And I was pretty persistent about it. You know, when I want something, I'm very persistent. Um, <laughs> I mean, he uh, was like, no. And I just, like, kept on him. And finally he was like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's just how I roll, um, and I imagine uh, <laughs> it's probably like, man, I lost a really good thing, but whatever. I mean, he's got a bunch of other stuff, so Yep. So this is about the concerts. Yeah, this is the only time that Iran has played live. Um, so. And of course, this is the only time that Dead played live. Freezing Moon Carnage. Okay, so they did. Uh huh. Yeah. 
project a projection of a stained mine. Yep, this is the uh, original compilation that Carnage was on. Yep. Oh wow, so that's uh, Pear's brother. There. Talking about Pear. Or Ted, as most people know. Pussy Bob. It's awesome. You guys are probably wondering why I'm not playing music right now. Well, the main reason is, if I do that, YouTube is going to force me to mute some of my video like they did last time over copyright issues. Because Mayhem did something that, if Euronymous was still alive and involved, it would never happen. They signed uh, to Sony, um, or at least they allowed Sony to distribute their songs. So I got a copyright on my video, no surprise. And uh, for some reason it was just one song. And uh, so that's that was the good news, um, was it was just one song. So, I just went ahead and muted that little segment. Um, so, this time I was like, I don't really want to uh, hit a copyright claim again, so I'm just playing it safe right now. Yeah, this is dead. That's alright. That's the record store. How oh, fed. Warrantis of Emperor. He's wearing some ore gears. Sigh. Awesome. 
this is the last band that um, he actually signed before he died. Um, and I have their Scorn Defeat album. Um, it's actually in the car. It's a CD. And uh, it's a very good album. Psy is a very unique Japanese black metal band. A lot of piano. Um, a lot of atmospheric stuff going on in there. Just just an amazing band, honestly. They don't sound like a lot of black metal. Um, so I highly recommend them. Definitely take a listen uh, to Scorn Defeat, guys, on YouTube. Uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised how amazing that band is. Yep. Alright. Well, that uh, concludes the uh, Euronymous Mayhem Collection. Um, I'm going to make another video if I get um, that Demystery Dom Satanist box that I'm definitely going to make a video of that for you guys. Um, but anyway, uh, peace out, hit like and subscribe. Thanks.